Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everyone's doing really, really well. You all had great weeks, ate a lot of pizza, drank a lot of Coke. Um, this week's video, all I want to do is sharing. So last week, I read this article, and I think it linked to this other article that linked to this page. And that's something I just want to share with everyone today because I think what uh, this person has put together here is amazing. It's going to be super helpful. It's already helped me a lot, and I just wanted to spread the word all right so someone here Cameron Ahmed I'm gonna link to this page in the description but what he's put together here is a quote-unquote web developer roadmap for 2017 it's pretty up-to-date it goes into a lot of detail and you can definitely tell he spent a lot of time putting this together which is actually just a blessing for us because this took a lot of effort to do and not many people will take time to do this and share it with everyone. So that's why I wanted to let everyone know about this. But So the other reason why I thought this was just really important is because this is exactly what everyone asked for, right? We asked for, this is essentially the path to get to some abstract place, right? The path to become a web developer. It's so abstract, we ask about it a lot, but this is it in a real content. So. First, that's the only thing I wanted to get across in this video. If you can stop watching this video now, go to this link, look at this document, I, and I will have done my job. So I just want to give another shout out to Cameron. Um, this document that you've made here is amazing. I'm totally piggybacking off it. Uh, I guess you can stop watching the video, but for the rest of the video, I'm just going to go through a really high level of what this document is pretty outlining for you and how you can potentially use it and why it's so useful, all right? So in a nutshell, this is just the intro of it, but Cameron, he just, he graphed and put together a flow, like a flow path of exactly what you need to learn, how you can like, you know, align yourself with becoming a web developer uh, with a lot of recent technologies, which is cool. So web developer in 2017, this sounds, super sexy and it is and you know he divides it into three major tracks front end back end and devops so it's kind of two and a half tracks where devops is an offshoot of back end uh, but if i were you i would take time and look through every single path you know looking through these like trees has like shown me a lot of things i don't know stuff i have to look into there's just a ton of stuff to know and it'll show you like oh are you on the right way like are you learning things that are relevant to what you want to learn? But don't think of these as three mutually exclusive paths. All right, just learn everything in all these paths. Um, he also color codes it, which is awesome. So yellow is like recommended and these other colors are exploratory. Check these out. So front end, back end, DevOps, and there's a couple, all these good terminologies in here. That's almost a good quiz for yourself to be like, oh, do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? Do you know what basic terminal usages. Do you know what characters and codings, character encodings mean? So that's another reason why these are so useful because as you look through these documents, some words are going to be, you know, familiar to you and other words are not going to be familiar to you. And that's places to go into and learn further. So, you know, this is, I'll link to all this stuff, but this is way too much stuff to go over in any video, but it's me trying to share share about this so um, that was the intro and then there's three roadmaps that he's drawn one is a front-end roadmap one is a back-end roadmap and the final one is a devops roadmap um, i would suggest everyone look through every single roadmap and it will just it's actually really intuitive and if you just follow these arrows you'll understand if you know something at a very high level or you know something really deep so just one quick example front end you go down three basic things you have to understand to write any code that gets interpreted by a browser javascript css html and then he breaks down all of those three categories deeper all right so this is exactly the path that a lot of people have been asking for and it's almost coincidence because other everyone was asking for this i was thinking of how to even articulate so much info but He's done it, and he's done it so intuitively. So, um, like that's the overview. Uh, check out the diagram for front end. Check out the diagram for back end. Um, back end overview. He first splits it up into languages, or I would say environments, because there's a lot of 
backend things in different environments, right? There's a very Ruby-esque environment, Python environment. Uh, people like to work with Node, JavaScript in the back, or PHP. And then there's all a lot of new things going on with like, you know, pure JavaScript or Go or the Microsoft style, C Sharp. Um, uh, besides like the language and environmental setup, he goes through a bunch of different just methodologies and just different patterns that, you know, usually you interpret, you like incorporate a lot of these things when you're doing backend development. So um, DevOps, always useful no matter what software category you're in. If you just understand DevOps or how computers operate, how computers run, how, you know, they get deployed. Uh, this is always good for every single software developer to know about DevOps at a basic understanding and I'm still trying to push out my knowledge of this. I'm pretty weak here, um, but a lot of this stuff is super important, at, particularly for web applications. So um, that's it for this video today. I'm not going to even try to attempt to talk to every single point and walk through this diagram. I think this is a luxury already as is so he's essentially laid out the path for you so um, this video again completely a sharing video I just wanted to share this document give a uh, Cameron here a shout out I'll try to tweet at him see if he responds to me but you know this is me just doing my best to try to share some good work because it's always awesome when other people like put in time organize their thoughts and give it to the rest of us all right and that's i really like it when people do that so i had to share this but that's it guys short video just wanted to share this document uh working on another video right now also have a cool announcement to make i'll do that in another video but for now i'll just sign off and i'll talk with everyone later all right take care